Today we're visiting an enormous abandoned Catholic church built over a hundred years ago. The Holy Rosary Church is an old Italian design. Also on the property is a large abandoned school. This video is our exploration of the church and the one to follow will be of the school. So make sure you subscribe to watch both. Let's head inside. We're out here chasing history into the darkness in search of adventure and the occasional sunset. So mask up, it's gonna be a wild one. So we're inside this very large sanctuary. Special thanks to the church's pastors for providing us access to this spectacular church. Church services are no longer held in this sanctuary. The church moved to a smaller sanctuary also in this building, and then later moved services off-site. You can see the ceiling fans, and we were told that there's a crazy catwalk above the sanctuary and a huge bell tower. We'll make sure we check those out, so stay tuned. The interior has a beautiful facade with so much detail and beautiful paintings. This detail has started to crack and deteriorate due to time, temperature, and water damage. The far wall has taken the brunt of the damage, as you can see. This church has lots of amazing stained glass, including this huge round piece behind us up on the wall. It's really breathtaking. Let's head downstairs. With coronavirus going hard, everybody's uh, looking for toilet paper. Well, this church, it's closed, but it's got toilet paper. a ship in the sea being watched by angels or Mother Mary. I'm not really sure. You can see it's got this green gray marble everywhere. It's really beautiful. These doors are huge. Huge radiators. Obviously the heat's not on. That would be nice if it was though. Look at this beautiful floor. These pictures are really three dimensional. More than most places. I wonder if they're wood or plaster. They're definitely wood, I think. Maybe plaster, but they look like wood. Then here you've got this huge arched doorway with these metal doors. You can see all the detail on the ceiling in this room is beautiful also. Those lights are pretty cool up there. I wonder where Jesse went. Found him! As I was walking through, I was wondering where the confessional was. And uh, I found it. It's behind this curtain. And there's three bays, or three, three of them. One has a floor waxer in it. One is empty, the other one is empty. These would have just had curtains over them. And then a curtain over the, I think this was a door on the side. 
Yeah, so there was a little door on that side that you could shut. And there was a curtain on this side. Very interesting. You can see they covered up all the pews to protect them as the walls started caving in or collapsing. The pews are a really cool color. They're like a, a green, really cool. And they're in good shape because they've covered them up. So that's pretty smart. It's eerily quiet here. But that's part of the fun of urban exploring. It's kind of peaceful. It's actually a great thing to do during the coronavirus. I love that reflection. Let's see if we can make something happen with that. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram. And I'm sure I will have made something happen with that. Ooh, stay tuned. Look at this balcony, the second balcony that overlooks all hardwood. It's just beautiful. You can see they've covered everything in order to protect it. Gives it an eerie vibe. Huge pillars, and they are solid. No faux pillars here, folks. And you can see there's a baptismal pool. They lift you up. We've got a baptismal pool. We'll check out back behind it. So this is the pastor's quarters, the pastor's office. It's a good time to thank them for their hospitality and uh, letting us visit this beautiful church. This wouldn't be possible without them, and uh, they're good people. Not only the pastor, but the, the pastor's son, Demetrius, who is also a pastor. We definitely appreciate it. When the congregation got smaller... This is where they held their services. Which makes a lot of sense. It was probably difficult to heat and air condition the main sanctuary. Look at the beautiful artwork in this room. Well, it's that time to head upstairs. I love these churches, how they have skinny hallways with stairs that curve around corners. It's just very unique. Look at this. It's got these huge gates just like downstairs. And it's got like a burgundy velvet. You gotta be a little careful. You can actually see into the attic. like gutter that is that's brass or copper gutters oh here's the balcony that overlooks 
this sanctuary. And then here's a door that looks like an attic. I moved that chair right there for the perfect picture. Oh, I gotta move that. Let's go up the other side. You can really smell the, where the water is really taking its toll on this place as you move up. Look at that little door. And then there's stairs that go up what I perceive as the bell tower, but let's see where this little door goes. There's a little window. Oh, there it is. Oh, it looks down onto the other church. Interesting. So it's that time, let's go up the stairway. You can see we've got lots of pigeon poop. Maybe I'll mask up. That's probably a good idea. We're on the GoPro only view and the mask is on. You're not gonna be able to hear me great because I'm gonna have the mask on. You can hear the pigeons. Oh, it's huge. You got a rope here. You can tell nobody's gone up here in a while. Oh, oh my. Wow. Oh. Sorry for the muffled voice. You can see from the dust, we're going to keep the masks on the whole time. Here's another room, all with some spare decorative pieces Ooh. that were never even painted. This is the catwalk now. Oh, it is the catwalk. Dude, those stairs. Stay on the right side. I see it. I mean, at least on here, it's, it's straight on the metal struts, but... Yeah, you can see the metal frame. See, we got some roof damage. Yeah, and I mean, like these handrails are just not doing the same thing. Whoa. Yeah, can you get up to walk this way or that way then? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right here. Whew. I can feel it. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not level. Oh, it's definitely not level. Oh, but it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. So that's the center and it pitches. Oh, you're right. So it's on an angle. Oh, I've been oh. working on this, the beard that did these fans. The good thing is I don't see a lot of water damage. It's got good bones. Somebody yeah. left. That's a solid system there. Well, look at that just drop down over. Yeah, this is all new. Somebody put this in, you know, not that long ago. The curve is crazy. It looks like you could just walk down that, but it would just like it drops off. It drops off in that tile. It's definitely not steady. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Huh? It opens a vent. Oh, wow. I don't want to open it though, because I'm afraid it won't shut. That's really cool. What's the point of be? Ventilation. Oh, and then here's another one for the other side. This isn't even the scary thing. That bell tower is up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is horrible. It's not even a... Look at this. Look how old this barrel is. So let's head back to the bell tower.
and uh, climb to the top of those stairs and see how high we can go. This is a good time to remind you guys to like and subscribe and share the video on social media. Let us know if you like places like this in the comments. And I'm not the most knowledgeable about architecture, so uh, if, if you see anything that I said wrong or uh, didn't point out, point it out in the comments. Okay, let's head back down. We're headed up. I can move it one more time. All the way to the top. So we made it to the top and I can take my mask off. It's a nice breezy cold Ohio day. We got a train going by. And I'm not going to say what city it is, but you know. Or you can figure it out. There's the school. That's where we're going next. Let's head back down. So we've got a bird cage down here. And there are, oh, it's a pigeon trap with dead pigeons. Creepy bird. Okay, it's time to head back down. And we're out and on to the next one. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share it on social media like Facebook, it definitely helps us out. Until next time, be safe out there.